How to verify Upwork account. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through on how you can verify your Upwork account step by step. Now, whether you're a freelancer, just starting out, or a client setting up your profile, verifying your account is crucial to building trust and accessing all the features Upwork has to offer. I'll also share some tips to avoid common verification issues and basically how to handle rejections. Now, why verification matters on Upwork? Basically, Upwork requires users to verify their identity to ensure that all freelancers and clients on the platform are real people. Basically, verification increases your trust score, allowing you to apply for more jobs and sometimes it's required before receiving your first payment. Now, for clients, it is also helpful to gain credibility and hire faster. Plus, the verified account often perform better in search results. Now, let's talk about the types of verification on Upwork. Now, there are three main types of verification you may encounter on Upwork. Number one is identity verification. Now, verifying your name with a government-issued ID like passport, driver's license, or national ID. You can go ahead and verify with a visual verification. Basically, it's a short video call with a representative or a real-time selfie using your device camera to match your ID. And lastly, you have payment verification. Adding a verified payment method for clients or setting up your withdrawal options for freelancers. Now, sometimes you might be prompted for additional verification if Upwork detects suspicious activity or if you hit a criteria or certain milestone like earning a specific amount. And so, all of the mentioned tools are going to be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. Now, the most common verification is a, the identity verification. The first thing that you want to do is to simply log in into your Upwork account. Click on the login with Google if you're using something like Google or Apple, or you can just proceed by typing in your email right here. And so simply right after logging in, there will be a huge button right here in order for you to verify your identity. Now, I've already verified my identity so that is not showing right here. You can also see the identity verification from your notification. So just click on the bell icon right here and you want to go ahead and tap on the verify yourself notification. Now, the last method in order to simply verify your identity is by navigating through your account settings and simply inside the account settings, you then have to click on the identity verification. Basically in here, we have four steps. Number one, you have to appear on camera. To show us it's really you, you want to take an automatic selfie or join a video call. You want to show us or you want to show Upwork a government-issued photo ID. Once again, it could be a national ID, passport, or driver's license. You then have to update your country information. You will have two options for matching your profile country and ID country. And lastly, you want to submit for a identity review. Now, once again, you will then be prompted to a selfie. And right after that, you have to go ahead and wait for the verification and it usually takes for up to 28 to 48 hours. You want to make sure that the details on your ID matches the name on your Upwork account exactly. Now, if they don't, you may need to submit additional documentation. Now, let's go ahead and talk about on how you can avoid verification delays. Now, here are the few steps to make the process smoother. Number one, you want to use a well-lit area for photos or selfies. You want to double check the name on your ID that matches with your Upwork profile. You want to make sure that your ID is not blurry or cropped. You don't want to use filter or image editors because Upwork may reject altered files. And lastly, you want to use stable internet connection during a video or live photo verification. Now, what to do if you basically get rejected on the verification process right here? Now. You want to check the rejection message. Usually, Upwork will go ahead and tell you what went missing or wrong. Once again, you can just navigate through your profile right here, click on the notification, and you will be able to see the messages from Upwork. Now, 
you want to make sure that you're submitting a valid government ID from your country. You want to contact the Upwork support if you're unsure what's required. And lastly, in some cases, you might need to try the verification again using a different device or document like another IV or another profile verifying that it is really you. Now, let's talk about some verification for clients. How can you basically do this? Now, if you're a client, you may be asked to verify your payment method. And so, once again, you can just navigate through your settings right here. Click on the billing method. Now, I'm on my freelancer account, so there's no billing method right here. But in my case, it's going to be the billing and payments. Now, due to security reasons, I'm not going to click on this option right here. So you then want to click on the billing and payments. And inside this option, you will be able to see the add credit cards or PayPal account option. So just click on it. Now, Upwork will or may place a small charge to verify your billing account. Now, it will be refunded automatically once verified. Now, once you're verified, you may post jobs and invite freelancers with full access. Clients may also need to complete identity verification to appear as a verified client, which can help attract top freelancers. Once again, to verify your account, you just want to navigate through your own dashboard. And from here, you will be able to see a huge button in order for you to verify your account. You can also see the verification method by heading over to your notifications. And lastly, you then want to head over to your account settings. And from here, you then have the option to navigate through the identity verification. So just click on it, click on verify, and you will be able to start the process right here. Now, what happens after your verification? Basically, you'll receive a blue check mark on your profile. You can also go ahead and complete your profile by clicking on the complete your profile option. And from here, you will be able to simply submit documents in order to complete your profile. Now, right after verification, you'll be able to apply to more jobs, withdraw your funds or post some projects. Now your trust rating will increase and you may see better job invites or faster hiring. You'll also gain an Upwork badge like top rated once you meet other qualifications. And so verifying your Upwork account is a crucial step toward building a strong freelancing profile and getting hired. It shows client that you're serious and helps the platform save from everyone or for everyone. Follow these steps carefully, use valid documents, and be patient. If you run into any issues, Upwork support will usually be quickly helped to fix. Now, if this video has helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment, and if you have any questions, just go ahead and feel free to ask them. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.